오늘 예배하시는 중에 여러분이 치유되고 힘 얻기를 바랍니다. We receive healing and receive strength through today's worship. 또 하나의 중요한 답을 가지고 가야 되겠습니다. And you must also carry with you an important answer. 어느 어려움 당하는 사람을 이렇게 만났는데 얘기해 보니까 뭐 불신자 같아요. And I met with somebody who was experiencing a great hardship, and I, as I was speaking with them, I realized this person was an unbeliever. 그래서 그 사람 도움 될수 있는 약간의 말씀과 복음을 이렇게 전했습니다. And so I shared a little bit about the word and the gospel so that this could be helpful for this person. 그런데 어, 조금 놀라운 고백을 했어요. This person happened to make a very astounding confession. 그 우리 아버지는 장로님입니다 그러더라고요. They said to 그래요. me, my father is an elder, and I said, is that so? 그리고 우리 할아버지는 목사님 했습니다 이러더. And they also said my grandfather also happens to be a pastor. 그때 제가 느끼기를 하, 이런 사람이 많겠구나 이런 생각을 했어요. And what I happened to think at that time was there are probably a lot of people like this person. 어, 뭐 삶의 기준을 전혀 모르는 거죠. In other words, they have absolutely no life standard. 성경은 하나님의 말씀이다 하는 걸 누구나 알고 있습니다. Everyone knows that the Bible is God's word. 근데 어떻게 내게 임하는지를 잘 모르는 거예요. But they don't understand how it is that that word comes upon me. 어, 만약에 하나님 말씀 내게 임한다면 굉장한 건데 그걸 모르는 거죠. If God's word comes upon us, that would be a tremendous thing in fact, but we are not aware of that. 일단 성경은 세 가지로 나타나 있습니다. And we see that the Bible is explained in three ways. 불신자가 봐도 아 좋다. 이런 부분이 있습니다. And there are aspects of the Bible where even unbelievers can read it and say, "Oh, that sounds very nice." 뭐꼭 신자만 봐야 되는 데가 또 있어요. But there are also parts of the Bible that only believers can understand. 그리스도의 피로 구원받는다 이런 단어는 불신자는 볼때 무슨 말인지 몰라요. For example, when the Bible reads that we have been delivered and saved by the blood of Jesus, unbelievers, when they read it, cannot understand these words. 영적 세계 깊이 있는 사람들은 안 믿어도 다 알아듣는데 보통 사람 못 알아듣죠. People who are deeply inside of the spiritual realms, if they read these words, even if they don't believe it, they can understand. But most people can't understand it at all. 그러나 성경은 신자도 잘 이해 안 되는 데가 있어요. But there are also parts of the Bible that even when believers read it, they cannot fathom or comprehend. And that is the key. There are many words that are written in the Bible that even believers, ordinary believers, when they read it, cannot understand. That's the key that you must hold on to. That is the answer for today. 불신자가 이해하는 말도 있고 믿는 사람이 이해하는 말도 있는데. Inside of the Bible, there are words that unbelievers can understand, words that only believers can comprehend. But there are also aspects that neither unbelievers or believers can really understand and comprehend. 굉장한 영의 세계를 얘기하는데 신자들도 잘 몰라요. So, for example, when it speaks about the depths of the spiritual realms, even believers have a hard time understanding and fathoming what this means. 그게 답은 최악 속에. And the answer to that is that in the worst of circumstances lies the greatest of answers. 자, 이 축복을 받기 깨달기 위해서 여러분이 먼저 조금 알아야 될게 있습니다. In order to realize this blessing, there are a few things you must keep in mind in advance. 서론에서 답 얻기 전에 먼저 한세 가지를 확인을 좀 해야 돼요. Before we receive this answer, there are about three things we must review inside of the introduction. 첫 번째 확인이 될게 뭐냐면은 속지 마라. What is the first thing we must confirm? Do not be deceived. 자, 이 고린도 교회가 어느 분위기가 되는 거니까요. 파가 생기다. 응답 받을 수 있겠어요? What was the atmosphere of the Corinth church at this time? There are factions that they had broken out into inside of the church. How can they receive answers? They're saying, I'm part of the Paul faction. I'm part of the Apollos faction. He gives such great messages. No, I'm part of the Peter, the Kephas faction. How can they receive answers like that? You must not be deceived. 이, 이 본문은 많은 사람에게 일어나는 일이에요. 
And we see that the, the chapter that we read through today, 그렇죠. this happens for a lot of people. 그래서 진정 답을 못 받는 겁니다. But that's why so many people forgo the genuine answers. 그러니까 뭐가 문제가 됐냐면 지금 고린도 교회 거야. 제사 음식이 문제 된 거예요. What was the problem? The root cause of the problems in the Corinth church it was the food that had been sacrificed to idols. 오늘 바울이 되는 어떤 때 내가 그 먹어. And today Paul responds saying, at some times you must eat it. It's not such a big deal. Then don't eat it. That's what he says. They had no choice but to fall into these temptations and trials because of such matters. And just to summarize the book of Corinthians, they also got into a fight and quarreled about um, giving that The holy communion, because they lost hold of what was most important, everything became a problem for them. What you must not lose hold of today, and what the Bible reveals to us, is that in the worst of circumstances lies the greatest of answers. You must hold on to it. They're not aware of this. We see that the early church, it wasn't like us. Whenever they gathered, they had the Holy Communion together. And that actually is the principle. We should abide by that. But for us, to do that all the time would cause a disruption in our worship. And that's why we just set particular times to commemorate the Holy Communion. And also because there were not many members of the early church, whenever they gathered to have fellowship together, they had the Holy Communion commemorating the body of Christ to the bread and the blood of Christ to the wine. 자, 이러다 보니까 돈이 있는 사람들은 많이 준비해 올거 아니에요. And then because, because of that, whenever there, had, there were people who had a great affluence, they would, because they had money, they would prepare more. 또 없는 사람들은 준비를 못해 올거 아니에요. And people who are not so rich, they would not be able to prepare as much. It, is this a problem? But that it, this became a contention, an issue. In other words, they didn't understand the nature of that Holy Communion. Again, Paul explains the reason behind that. Moreover, we see in the passage that precedes today's scripture that this idolatry became such a big problem. We must not be deceived. You must refrain from being deceived so that you can receive the true answers. The second thing is, there are things we must discard. Why did they break out into these clans and factions? And this is the same action that I see among believers who are not able to receive answers nowadays. They say after receiving the message, Oh, I received so much sermon. They say, I received so much grace from the sermon today, and it's not a bad thing to say. But what happens if it doesn't hit your heart? What happens if you don't receive grace? So for example, the word of God really strikes this person's heart, but not that person's heart. Then what will happen? For example, somebody says, oh, today's sermon was so amazing and great, but that person doesn't actually think that way. That's why they broke out into factions. 여기서 여러분을 꼭 버려야 될게 뭔가 하니까 말씀이 어떠면서 내게 와닿았다 나자 은혜 된다 이게 맞는 말일 수도 있는데 가장 나쁜 말입니다. What is it that you must discover today? What is it that you must discard? You can say, oh, the message really struck my heart or I received so much grace from today's message. It's maybe true. 허감은 못 이깁니다. But that, that's the worst thing to say. Because with that you cannot overcome the dark days and you cannot save the world. What must you be able to hear? Be able to hear. You must be able to hear the word of God. You must not hear what matches you or what fits with you or your thinking. It's actually what God desires for you to hear. The second thing that you must confirm, in other words, what you must discard. 
하나님의 말씀을 드려야 돼요. Whether assistant pastors or elders or the pastor gives a sermon, it doesn't matter. You must hear the word of God. 여러분이 이것만 해도 미래와 여러분의 인생은 변할 겁니다. And with that alone, your future and your lives can change. Absolutely. And the third thing we must confirm today. What is it you must now find? For what and with what meaning has God given this word? You must discover that. 그때에 보입니다. 아, 최고의 응답이 숨겨져 있구나. At that time, you will see that the greatest answer is hiding. 이세 가지가 확인돼야 돼요. It's hidden, and you must confirm these three things. 그리고 예를 몇개 들어보겠습니다. I'll give a few examples. 이스라엘 민족이 지금 광야길을 갑니다. The Israelites are walking through the wilderness. 하나님의 뜻입니다. It 그렇죠? is the will of God, is it not? 고난이 있어도 하나님의 뜻입니다. Yes, they're suffering, but it is still the will of God. 가야 됩니다. They must go into Canaan. 애굽에서 나와야 됩니다. They must leave Egypt. 그런데 모세가 전하는 하나님의 말씀이 백성의 마음에 전혀 와닿지를 않아요. But the word of God that Moses, Moses was testifying 그렇죠? of, it did not hit the hearts of the people at all. 그럼 안 들어야 됩니까? Then should they not hear it? 됐죠? Who's in the wrong? 그 많은 숫자가 광야에서 장례식 했잖아요. 새 신세대가 들어갔는데 왜 그랬어요? A great many people perished in the wilderness and that became their grave and a new generation entered into Canaan. Why was that the case? 도저히 모세의 설교가 내게 와닿지 않아요. They were saying Moses' sermon really just, just does not strike my heart. 그게 기준입니까? Is that the base? Is that the standard? 우리 혹시 이렇게 신앙생활을 할수 있어요? We also can live our walk of faith this way. 저도 옛날에 모르고 그렇게 했어요. And in the past, unconsciously, I lived my walk of faith this way as well. Oh, the sermon was great today. I really received grace from it, and I'm blessed by it. Oh, some pastor's sermon, it's so amazing. It's not, nothing bad to say. But because that's the case, because that's your base and your standard, even if it's not the gospel at all, if it hits your heart, then it's a good sermon. 어떤 목사님은 복음에 완전 반대되는 설교를 하는데 내 마음에 맞으면 좋은 거야. Some pastor gives a, a sermon that's completely contrary to the gospel, but if it hits my heart and it, it's fitting to me, then it's a good sermon. 아니, 광야길 가는데 우리를 보고 은금을 가져오라. 그래, 성막 짓자. 말 됩니까? They're walking through the wilderness, and yet now they're instructed to go and bring gold and silver to build up the tabernacle. Does that make any sense at all? 아니, 지금 우리 자신을 안 본다면 이거 먹을 것도 없는데 We don't have anything to eat here. We had so much to eat in, in Egypt. Why did you lead us out? That's what will happen. And just with these examples alone, it should suffice. You're not receiving the word that is befitting to you. That, that's possible when your IQ is at the same level and on par with God's. Let's say, for example, my IQ is 120 and God's IQ is also 120, then we should consult with one another, should we not? When I am receptive to the word of God that He desires for me to hear, that's when I can receive true grace and true strength and true power. We see that the Corinth church was in shambles. And they were faced with issues and problems that ought not to have been an issue in the first place. The great plan of God lied there. We see, and what we must remember is that the greatest of disciples arose from here. 누굽니까? Who was it? It's Priscilla and Aquila. 그렇죠? They are from the Corinth church. There was such a great storm that blew inside of the church, but they were not struck by it at all. And they actually made regional churches in their home. They called remnants like Apollo together and he, they shared the gospel accurately with them. They asked, do you know what it means to be baptized by the Holy Spirit and taught what prayer was? They staked their lives and continued to support Paul so that he could carry out the gospel movement. You need to catch on quickly to the answer you must receive today. 
최고로 한심스러운 교회가 고린도 교회였는데 최고의 제자는 고린도에서 나왔어요. The most pathetic church of all was the Corinth church, but the greatest of all disciples arose from Corinth church. 이게 우리 성도 삶의 기준입니다. This is a life base for all of us believers. What is it? 먹든지 마시든지 무엇을 하든지 하나님의 영광을 위하여 하라. So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. What does that mean? 제사 음식 그게 문제가 돼? The ancestral foods and the sacrificial foods, is that a problem? If it's glory unto God, then eat it. If it shields the glory of God, then don't eat it. That's the... On the Lord's Day, should we do the work of the world or not? People used to fight about this. If, should you spend money on the Lord's Day or not? If it gives glory unto God, then spend that money. If it doesn't give glory to God, then don't spend that money. 오늘 우리 기도한 장모님이 경찰이거든요. 경찰이나 의사나 이런 중요한 분들은 주일 성수 꼭다안 해도 돼. 예배 드리고 그 사람 지켜야죠. 그렇죠. The elder who prayed for us today, he's actually a police officer. And if you're part of the police or perhaps even a doctor, people who's uh, who's responsible for the lives of other people, give worship on the Lord's day and then go and do your work. 아니 옆 동네에서 불이 났는데 소방관이 아나 주일 지기 때문에 안 가. 알아서 해. Let's say for example, a big fire erupts, but a person who's a firefighter says, "Oh, I can't go to put out that fire because I need to worship on the Lord's day and keep it holy." 우리의 기준은 하나님께 영광 돌. Our standard, our base, is whether this gives glory unto God or not. And all sorts of problems were erupting inside of the church where they were having unhealthy relations with each other among family members. But at that time, Paul gave them the accurate answer by which they could be revived. And that's what the answer he gave to them was this. You are the temple of God. And that was such words of consolement and comfort and also for them to realize, do you not know that you are the temple of God and the God Spirit lives in you? So don't blaspheme the Holy Spirit. How accurate was this answer he gave to them? The ones who were not deceived by these matters, those who held on to the answer to the world organization, were Priscilla and Aquila. What am I trying to say? Priscilla and Aquila, the two of them, were the ones who held on to the answer to the world organization, were Priscilla and Aquila. When this couple, Priscilla and Aquila, discovered this, they discovered their personal contract with God. And it's from that day on that the true works begin. The world people do not know 하나님과 여러분 사이에 진짜 이명 계약이 발견됐다. 그날로부터 역사는 시작됩니다. When you have that true 그렇죠? and genuine personal contract, that covenant with you and between you and God, from that point on, the true works begin. 아니 불신자 대부분이 있는지도 없도 모르고 믿지도 않은 하나님과 나와 이명 계약이 있다는 건 어마어마한 사건이에요. 그렇죠? And this, this is a God that most unbelievers don't even know exists and doesn't even believe in, and yet for us, we have a personal contract with that very God. And I have conviction of this. That even the lives of those who do not who do not believe in God, God governs over their lives. 그렇다면 나와 하나님과의 이면 계약은 이면 계약이라 말하는 그분과 나만 있는 계약이 그렇죠? And so, what does this personal that personal contract mean? It's a contract that only belongs to me and God. Something that only we are aware of. You need to. You need to discover that, just like Priscilla and Aquila. 하나님, 내 사업은 오직 세계 복음을 위해 쓰겠습니다. God, I will use this business that I'm doing right now only for world evangelization. That's your personal contract. 이 일을 위해 생명 걸겠습니다. And for this work, I will stake my life. 그러니까 바울이 얘기했잖아요. 목을 내놓았다 그랬어요. 뭔 일이 있었는지 몰라도 목을 내놓았다. 쉽게 말하면 죽을 일이 있었는데 그것도 감수했다 이 말이에요. And that's why Paul records about Priscilla and Aquila that they laid down their lives for him. In other words, we don't know exactly what happened, but they actually staked their lives to support him. 그러니 뭐 바울이 세계 복음을 막 평생 하도록 만드는 거예요. And they supported him to the point where Paul could do world evangelization for all his life because God answered them. 이 세계적인 주석 ICC 주석에 보면요 그 브리지스가 부부에 대한 기록이 나와 있어요. 
And we see that the IC annotations it shares a lot about what the Bible is about the commentaries and it explains uh, about this. It records a person Aquila, they died in Rome and their um, grave stands there. They never asked God for money or wealth, and yet God gave to them tremendous economic power and prowess so that they could be greatly influential. 자, 그렇다면, and the church of Corinth was in shambles, and yet the most historic of all disciples arose from this very church. 자, and what kind of personal covenant did they have? One. 그들의 시작이었습니다. It was their start. What was it? And that's Acts 2.10. That was their beginning. Mark's upper room. When God gave to them the greatest answer, they were there. What does that mean? Break down the partisan of darkness. Second Corinthians 10 4 says to break down that strong and mighty fortress. In other words, with the word of God and with the word of and with the power of prayer, destroy the strongholds of all that darkness, the partisan of darkness. That was the start. And that was Mark's upper room. And Priscilla and Aquila were there on the scene. Just believe this blessing. That's all you need to do. We see that God completely broke down the bodice of darkness that seeks to destroy your household, your families, and in your 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 work. And then all of a sudden a problem comes. They could not stay in Rome. They had to leave. And it was there that they met with Paul. How amazing is that? And now in both countries, the partisan of darkness was broken down. That's the kind of works that arose. This blessing will come upon your lives. God is the one who gives it to you, and there's nothing else. All around me, in my fields of life, and also in my family, there are these partisans of darkness. This needs to be broken down. And you need to have faith. There are people who are shrouded in darkness within our households and all around in our vicinity. You can't go and ask them, why are you so covered with darkness? Look at Anne Sullivan. It was not a simple faith that she harbored. She said, absolutely, absolutely, Helen Keller can be cured. Why? Because she experienced it herself. That's why she completely destroyed the stronghold and the bodies of darkness that was working upon Helen Keller. And it goes beyond that. We see that in Acts 18, 20, 28, they meet with Apollos. They share with Apollos what happened in Mark's Reformation. They ask him, were you baptized by the Holy Spirit when you believed? They destroyed the partisan of darkness working upon the remnants. It's perfect. And we see that this couple, they were receiving grace from Mark's upper room, and then they broke down the partisan of darkness working in their family line. They met with Paul and broke down the partisan of darkness working throughout the world. This is the base, and this is our personal contract. May you believe that wherever you go, the partisan of darkness will be destroyed. I don't discriminate against people and I don't make judgments. In the early days of our ministry, there was an assistant pastor that I had a hard time communicating with. 
And there were reports that were being passed up to me. They were saying, let's let the assistant pastor go. And I said, just leave him alone. Where can he go? But it goes beyond that. There was a new believer that came to our church, a very important person, but they suddenly lost their mind. And a big problem was r u p And when that problem erupted, I sent that assistant pastor to go and minister there. And his nickname was Bear, and he just, you know, ambled over there like a bear, and then he he, um, somehow solved the problem. And I said, I instructed him, continue to minister to that person until that person gets better. And continue to minister to that person until the evil spirit working inside of that woman leaves, and don't give up. 진짜 이 사람은요. 말안 통할 정도로 이 우직합니다. 막 그냥 계속 한 거예요. 도망가도 찾아가고. And so this, you know, nickname bear, this assistant pastor was very persistent, very stubborn and even when this woman ran away, he would chase after her, continue to minister to her. 역사를 나버렸어요. The works arose. 이 망대 허가만이 무너져 버린 겁니다. That b o d i e s of darkness was broken down. 그러니까 그 뒤에 어떻게 됩니까? And then what happened afterwards? I don't need to explain afterwards, but amazing works arose as a result. The same start happened for Priscilla and Aquila. The second personal contract, what is it? They established the partisan of God. First Corinthians 1.18, For the word of the cross is folly to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. And it was the b a r t i s a n of God that was established enough to overturn fate. And what does it say in 1 Corinthians 2.12? Very important words. Now we have not received the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God, that we might understand the things freely given us by God. It may appear as you are faced with hardship, but inside of that, you are able to confirm that you can receive a hundred years worth of answers, even when you are faced with hardship. Corinthians 3.16, what does it record? Do you not know that you yourselves are the temple of God and that God's spirit dwells in you? What is that? It is a living sacrifice. A living sacrifice. I'm just going through the, the entire process of this message, but you must not lose hold of these answers. What is it? And 1 Corinthians 4, 1-2. This is how one should regard us as servants of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God. The, the believer that the world sees. The believer that the world sees. People of the world might say that I'm part of the Paul faction or the Paul's faction. I receive so much grace from them, but it's not that. That's not our base. It's through the mystery of God that this transformation can take place today. Today is chapter 10. Chapter 10, verse 31. This is our standard. So whatever, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God, not your thoughts. Not the law, not what's right or wrong. That should not be our standard or base. Let me give you the example of this. In, chapter, in verse 23. All things are lawful, but not all things are helpful. All things are lawful, but not all things build up. In your eyes, it may appear to be something that is good and worthy, but not all things are helpful and not all things build up. A tremendous answer has been given to us. And if you have to seek good, let no one seek his own good, but the good of his neighbor. And whatever you do, whether you eat or drink, do all to the glory of God. 
세 번째입니다. Number three. 이 미래에 관한 중요한 축복인데요. 파수꾼의 망대를 세운 겁니다. It's an important answer regarding the future. 이게 중요하죠. We must build up the important partisan. 하나님의 망대만 세우지 말고 이제 파수꾼이 되는 겁니다. The partisan of the watchman, not just God's partisan, but now you must stand as a watchman yourself. 이때 바울이 이런 말을 했어요. We see that Paul said this at this time. I must see Rome also. And the ones who understood this message the best were Priscilla and Aquila. 그렇죠? Right? That's why we see their names recorded in Romans 16, 3 and 4. He, rec he records that they are his, his fellow workers, that they laid down their lives for him. And Romans 16, 25, 26, 27 says, What has been hidden for long ages past has now been revealed and made known. You must hold on to this covenant today. I'll conclude. Do not lose hold of the opportunity to receive the greatest answer. There may be people who are listening to this message who are faced with trials because of their church. 또, or perhaps the church itself has fallen to a trial that is facing hardship because of it. There may be also many churches that are quarreling amongst themselves. I say that to all of you who are listening to this message today. Do not despair. 여러분은 한 명이라도 부리스카, 부리스카처럼 깨달으면 최고의 응답을 찾을 수 있어요. If just one of you, just like Priscilla, discovers this great answer, you can receive the greatest answer of all and transform everything. 제가 증인입니다. I'm a witness of that. 저는 어릴 때 지금까지 이름을 기억하는 사람 몇 명이었어요. There are still many people that I remember their names to this day. 강주석이라고 하는 학생인데 저는 초등학생인데 이분은 and so, for example, there was a person that I knew by the name of Kang Du Sok. I was an elementary school student, and this student happened to be a senior in high school. And when I was younger, because I was forced by my parents, I went to the Sunday school worship, and I also went to the adult worship as well. And, and it drove me crazy because I just didn't want to go. But a big fight broke out inside the church. But when this fight broke out, this older brother, Kang Du Sok, I still remember his name, he took my hand and led me out. He said, don't, don't look at that. And then he led me somewhere. So think about this. I am an elementary school student and he was a high school senior. And so the pace at which we can walk is different. He's walking some, somewhere very quickly and he's saying, follow me. And I ran after him. And the place where he led me was a church called Choryang Church. It was one of the biggest and most um, blessed churches there in, in Busan at the time. And so it was the first time I had seen this church and it was, it was really flabbergasting because it was so great. Now of course it's not as nice as our church now but at that time it was when I was very young and it appeared so grand to me. And in our church, our choir was composed of maybe 50 or less people, but then this church had about 200 choir members. I still recall to this day. And the conductor was standing before the choir. It was when I was an elementary school student, but I still felt at that time that they were, it was almost as if they were breathing together. I didn't say this to that brother Kang Dusok, but I was shocked. I thought, oh, this kind of church exists. 
그게 제게 각인돼서. And that was imprinted upon me. 아, 이런 교회를 만들어야지. Oh, I need to make this kind of church. 그참 이상하네요. How strange is that? 나그형 이름이 지금도 안 잊을 거예요. I cannot forget his name. 가는 거야 곳곳마다 교회들이 문제가 많은데 진짜로 살아있는 사람들이 있어. 말씀 잡고 있는 사람들이 있어요. And I went to many different churches, but they were always it was always trouble-ridden and problem-ridden. But there are people even inside of that receiving true answers. And another person that I met with, Deacon Chung Chang Duck. 교회가 거기에는 건축을 하는데 막그 건축은 되게 분쟁이 나, 분쟁이 나. And that church we were in, we were doing church construction, and whenever we had church construction, there was a quick, big quarrel. 잘 사는 사람들도 있는데 헌금 안 해. Because there are people who are very affluent and wealthy, but they never give their offering. But I still remember Deacon Chong Chang Duck to this day. So he was the same age as me. So he was around 30 or so at the time. He was married and had a very small, taller child. And his wife was amazing as well. They conversed amongst each other. 여보, 우리가 성전을 건축하는데 어떻게 하면 좋겠냐? They discussed together, saying, "We're now doing church construction. What should we do?" 내가 어릴 때부터 지금까지 고생해가지고 집을 하나 마련해가 살고 있는데 이걸 팔자. And he said, "You know, I worked all my life to just make this, make sure that we have this one home that belongs to us. But let's sell it." 우리는 다른 새로 가고 이거 헌금하자. Let's sell this house. We'll just go into a building where we can live off the rent monthly, and then let's give that as offering. I was shocked by that. It's not even the money that's the matter. It's the fact that they were not in a very good circumstance, but they were able to give that as offering. I don't even know how his wife. Wife accepted that proposal. And at the same time, he was a 30-year-old or so deacon, same age as me, same children were same age as mine as well. 도모하는 그 애기고 있던 장원님들 전부 미안해가지고 그 All the elders who had so much in their savings, they had to, you know, they they were they couldn't look him in the eyes because they were so apologetic. 기억나요. And I still remember a few of these people. 막 그중에 뭐 많이 있습니다만은 내가 자주 얘기하는 사람이 손세만 선교사 지금 지금 조금 사람 변한 것들하고 그러나 그때 집사님이었어요. And so another person that I often mention is missionary Son Seman. Uh, maybe he changed a little bit now, but at the time he was a deacon. And there was so much infighting within the church, and his father-in-law happened to be one of the leaders, just uh, ruling everyone for that kind of fight. But this deacon was different. And he really loved the gospel, wanted to live for the gospel. I happened to meet with this kind of person. I can't forget him. Truly loved the gospel, wanted to share the gospel, and was very capable as well. At that time, it was very difficult to get a job in the bank, but he happened to be employed in the bank and was one of the management, the higher ups. 우리는 많은 것을 해야 되지만은 가장 중요한 게 뭡니까? And there are many things that we need to do, but what is the most important of all those things? That's what I was able to see and receive grace from regarding regarding this from him. And I often say this, and I still remember to this day. 그런 사람 나 결국 이제 선교사 대가 선교 나갔는데 나그집 가서 강의도 하고 이랬는데 지금 사람 약간 달라졌다 마음이. He actually gave up his job and he went out as a missionary to preach the gospel. I went over there and gave some lectures as well. I think he's a little bit changed now, though. There are some people whose hearts change when they come into a new position. You must hold on, surely hold on to what you must pray about and receive answers through for the next six days of the week. Most people don't know what prayer is and they don't know what the spiritual realms are. If you continue to have fighting within your household, whether you're a believing household or not, I'll tell you most accurately and truthfully, evil spirits, demons, and Satan will continue to work abundantly within your household. 
The words you speak may be accurate, but if they're words of unbelief, that will fill everything with darkness. Is it in the Bible? Yes, it is. There are many accounts of this in the Bible, but just one example of it is Ephesians 4, 25, 27. He takes, a foot, he, he takes that as a footstool and he plows in. As you give your worship today, you must hold on to the covenant by which you can pray throughout the week and receive answers from. Then you'll be able to come and chance upon what it is. That you can receive answers from next week when you come to church. I'm sharing a little bit about the account of what happened in the church, Corinth church, but I'm not giving, uh, this is not, this is the word of God. I'm just giving an explanation of it. I'm just explaining to you because I'm accountable for this. I'm responsible to share with you the important parts of what happened in the book of Corinthians. I bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that you may hold on to your answer today and for the next six days of the week receive your true answers. Let us pray. God, we thank you. May today be the greatest day of our lives in which we hold on to the personal contract with God. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen.